All right, so it's time to address um, puppy biting. Uh, there's some important things to understand about puppies and why they bite. Um, there is, there's some research out there right now that uh, deals with something called ABI. It's acquired bite inhibition. And until a puppy's about four or five months old, they're in the process of learning how hard they, they should bite down, what's an appropriate bite strength. Uh, if you wait too long to help your puppy acquire this bite inhibition, uh, it, unfortunately, that window closes and you're dealing with a whole new animal. Uh, and so what you wanna do is you wanna teach your puppy while he's little uh, how hard is, is appropriate. And, and, and our goal obviously is to teach that when dealing with people, we don't want to, we don't want a puppy that bites at all. And so, but to, what we're going to do before teaching them that what we'll do is we'll teach them to, to bite soft, 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 and then we'll worry about the frequency and, and, and all of that later on. Um, and so as we get Odin, one of the things I'm going to do is, and he's, he just woke up. So he's not in a real, he's not in a real feisty mood. Uh, but what I'm going to do is when his, when his, when he bites down, um, I'm just going to yell out and I, I've heard trainers say that, and I used to, uh, when we, when I first got my first dog, we, we, uh, we would yelp like the dog. And I've, I've learned that you don't necessarily need to do that. If you just act like a person and let them know with your voice that what they're doing is, is too much. And so when it gets to be like this, ow, ow, that hurts. Good boy. Good. Ow! Good boy. All right. Good boy. Now you'll notice one of the things that you don't want to have happen is you don't want to be the one. Ow! You don't want to be the one to move your hand away. You want your puppy to be the one to back off. Uh, if you move your hand, that entices chasing and he's going to go after you even harder because he thinks it's just a part of the game. And so as you cry out and let your puppy know with tenor or with the tone of your voice and the volume, uh, without making it scary or threatening, that what he's doing, that you don't like what he's doing, uh, and then immediately re-engage your puppy. So, Odin, come here. Odin, hey. Hey, bud. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Ow! 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 Good boy. All right. Good boy. Yeah. Good. Good boy. Not a boy. Yeah. One of the things that you'll notice is that as you do this more and more with your puppy, the biting is going to, it's going to start getting less and less and less. And eventually what it'll come down to is it'll be just a mouthing um, and, and maybe even just some licking, which we'll address that in a later video. But that's exactly what you want. You're not going to see, this is one of those things that you're just going to have to be patient with. Uh, this is another thing to keep in mind. As parents, as the, as the adults in the home, if you've made the decision to bite the dog, ow! Good boy, all right. If you've made the decision to get a dog, it, it needs to be, ow, ow! You need to be the one that teaches them the bite inhibition. This is not something to turn over to your eight-year-old daughter or 12-year-old son. This really needs to be your, uh, this is your responsibility. Ow, ow! Ow, that hurts! Uh, the, he just bit my collar, which reminds me of, an, uh, of something else that, um, you know, you want to do it when they bite your clothing, uh, or anything else you're wearing. If you've got a watch band on, ow, that hurt. Good boy. Because a dog doesn't know the difference between a jacket and your skin. And so we just want to teach them that, Hey, Hey, that hurts. Ow. Ow. We want to teach them that uh, that biting people altogether is is not acceptable, and so again, and see, I, this isn't something like sit or lay or any of the other things we've taught our dogs. It's not something they're going to get in five minutes. This is going to be several weeks. It's going to be a lot of patience. You're going to end up with a lot of scratches on your arms. Uh, you, there's going to be some real painful moments in this, but it's going to pay off later on when you have an adult dog that has a very soft mouth, especially if you've got a Labrador Retriever, a Golden Retriever. Um, Ow! Ow! You're going to have a dog that has a really soft mouth uh, that's going to understand, you know, that, that, that people aren't chew toys. 
And, and that's really what you want to get. But take patience. Don't put this off. This is something you want to start off. You know, you want to start this with your dog as soon as they start biting. Give them that feedback. Let it be consistent every time they bite down hard. And then once they've got the hard biting down, then, then anytime they bite you at all, anytime you feel their teeth on your skin, you're going to give that back. Uh, you're going to give that feedback. And then eventually you're going to get that anytime they, they put their mouth on you. You, you just that That's unacceptable behavior. But it is kind of a three-step process. So take your time. Uh, work through this with your dog, uh, with your puppy. Uh, the, the more patient you are and the more consistent you are with the bite inhibition training, uh, the quicker your dog will work through it. Uh, but again, don't. this isn't something you can wait for until the dog gets to be five or six or seven months old. If you've got a nine-month-old, uh, dog, even a Labrador that, that traditionally have soft mouths when retrieving, you, you could have some really serious biting problems where they're jumping up and grabbing your arm or grabbing the back of your leg. Uh, that's been that's been one of our <laughs> that's been one of our uh, favorites, our less favorites with uh, with Odin is is he likes to grab the back of your pants as you're running away. Hey, leave the carpet alone. Hey, hey you. So there's our there's our first video on uh, bite inhibition. Uh, if you just follow those steps, you'll uh, give it a couple of weeks. And if you still have any uh, if if you have any questions or any problems, go ahead and leave me a comment down below or uh, or shoot me an email through the through the website at Easy Retriever Training. Thanks.